Hello YouTube, welcome back, Chris here. Today I've got a new tool, or at least part of a tool, to unbox and show you. This is the Park Tool TSB 4.2 Truing Stand Base, and this is 4 by TS uh, 4.2 that I just got not long ago. So let's go ahead and open this up, and take a look at what's inside. built let's talk about it a little bit uh, these bases are great uh, this is the first time I've owned a TS 4.2 so this base is new to me but I have done uh, I have owned a TS 2 before and I have used a tilting base with that one that's how I knew I would like it with this true and stand as well uh, the great thing about this base right here you loosen this knob and you can pivot it so if you need a little bit better attack angle to look down on a rim or maybe you're trying to see if it has a hop you can tilt it all the way back and use the top of the caliper. Just gives you a lot more versatility to this and a lot more stability. So this base, without mounting it to a bench top, is super stable. Um, it's going to give you a lot of stability here when uh, truing. Um, if you want to, it does have four mounting holes, two on the side, two in the front here, so you can mount it to the bench top. Uh, but not 100% necessary if you you know need to move things around or some people just don't like having a truing stand mounted because they like to be able to hit it at different angles or whatever they're doing. So to each their own. Uh, of course, it's got the handy trays on the side here. You know, this is great for obviously your spoke wrenches, bigger tools over here. These guys here you can use for spoke nipples, um, which is a real common use for that. Uh, you can also, I know some people don't always use the little plastic tips. You can keep them there. 
and then use the metal ones. And if you're using a, doing a carbon rim or something, you're worried about scratching, you can uh, put these on there. So a lot of stuff you can do with this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I'm going to do more videos just like this in the future. And uh, we will see you next time.